Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card but before I do that I've got something to show you. My sister gave me a load of gifts and she gave me this. It is a Scrabble set. The dies for Scrabbles. I haven't opened it yet so I don't know what they're like. Let me see if I can open it. Been easy if I've got scissors. So these you place in there, and that will make your Scrabble set. Oh, there's a magnet underneath. really cool it's by first edition compatible with most die cut machines cuts through paper cardstock and two mil foam mm. so I might make a card with this and show you what I've done or do we'll see I know it's not stamping up but can't all be stamping up, can it? And I've got blank cards and envelope. These are like a craft card. Oh, they're thick. Hmm, quite nice. And these in a pack. Two, four, five. And there are envelopes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in a pack. And I think she said she got them from the works for a pound, which is quite a good deal. And then she bought me this magazine. I haven't even looked at these yet. I've just took the stamps out. And they come free with these rare earth stamps. Lots of stamps. In fact, I used one on this card. I used... Um, I can't remember where it was from. I used one of them. Wishing you a happy birthday. I'm sure it was one of these I used. Maybe it wasn't. Oh yeah, wishing you a happy birthday. That one there. But I'm using a Stampin' Up! one with the card I made today. And then these two magazines. Paper crafting. thought that was a stamping up one. Usually one of the magazines has a stamping up page in it. I don't know what magazine it is. I don't know if it's this one. But some pretty cards in there. Look at that. That looks nice. Yeah, something to look at when I get round to it. And there's another one. Some other cards, Easter cards. Advertisement for all your crafty bits. So yeah, so that was my gifts off my sister. I thought they were really nice. So thanks Sheena for them. Let me move them out of the way. 
Right, back to today's card. To make this card, I used all bits, not stamping up. Um, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored up what four and one eighth, and I've got a card here at three and five eighths by five and no three and five eighths yeah by five and three eighths because I wanted a bigger border, and I used one of my own embossing folders. And I cut a square out using the th going from the middle, the third one. It so the third, the second biggest or the third smallest. Oh. Right, sorry about that. It's my sister phoning, um, and I can't remember where I was. I know I did the card and this, and also you need scraps, which I've got here. For the daisies and the bees and a sentiment and the stamp sets I'm using is friendly hello for that hope you have a best birthday and this one I used and I did the bees but I've already done the bees because when I did the first one I did double the amount of bees so I've already got the bees so we don't need this one so now I've also got, let me put that out of the way, that out of the way, punches. I've got retired punches. I've got the three leaf one. See that? I've got the small daisy one and I've got the large daisy one. I think this one's called medium daisy, I'm not sure. If it is, this one's getting carried over, and this one isn't. I think this retired last year, but that's what we got. So we're going to cut them out, and we want two of the big ones. Is it two? Yeah, two of the big ones. three of the smaller ones. Don't waste this card. That's them done. And we want some green cardstock. What did I use on the other one? I used Mossy Meadow, let me go and get a better card. Not big enough. Let me see. Yeah. One. So what we do? I don't need them now. Get my bone folder, bone folder, and just just curl up the petals on each one. I think I'm just going to call the title on this one, Stamping Up Stuff. Because that's what I'm using. I don't know the last time I used this. I haven't used it for ages. The leaves, I've got my tweezers. I'm just going to put a bit of shape into these leaves and twist. 
Oh. Twist and twist. Give them a bit of life. Right. Grab our glue and we're going to glue the two big ones together. Is that? Maybe not. Has been a while since I made these cards. So, or any card, should I say? I think I made these last Thursday. And then we're going to glue all these little ones. Now there's three here, so I'm going to just offset it a little bit. And then with this one I fill in the gap. And then I get a yellow, which is Daffodil Delight, pen, and I just colour in this full circle. Like that. And with the What's this one? Dark old olive. Just dot it all over. And then we're going to glue this one. A little bent petal there. Onto that one. to dry get my card flat right I'm going to glue this um, this way on here leaving a nice border all the way around like that now the daffodil delight I'm going to put on a dimensional I think I need two on it. And we're going to stick this in the middle of this hole. Like that. And the leaves. A bit of glue on the stem. I'm going to pop one down there. Bees, what have I done with them? Oh. Yeah, don't want that one yet. No, 
of these I'm going to sit one I've just glued the bottom of it and I'm going to sit one on flower there and this one I'm going to put down here and this big one will go on the sentiment so I've got my and I'm going to use this piece because I can trim it down then just going to trim this off Only used that because it was there. And that's going to go there, and this B is going to sit on like that. So I am actually going to stick that on now. go just there and that is our card done hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.